Welcome to Apple Star Technologies. Uh, today I am going to explain about how to call ORDS web services into VBCS page. Okay, most of the time clients expecting to display whatever the data available in the ATP database. That ATP database data how we are going to call and display into VBCS page. That is the use case. Okay, the topic is. How to call ORDS web service into PBCS page. Use case, let's say I have a data in the suppliers, supplier data I have in the ATP database. Okay, so this data coming from the Oracle SaaS environment using integration. So this data I want to access in VBCS page in the tabular format. Okay, so this is the use case uh, I'm going to, exp uh, I'm explaining now. So first step is, use case is, get the ATP, database data which is coming from Oracle SAS environment. Okay. First step one. Create the ORDS REST service in Apex. Okay. So example, this is the data which is coming from the Oracle SAS environment. So using this table, so this is the staging table. Okay. This is the staging table or custom table which has been created. Uh, in the in this schema, test WSP schema. Okay, first log into Apex. Log into Apex. So this is the schema we have created in the ATP database. So this is the workspace and this is schema password in the ATP database. So log into Apex, SQL workshop, RESTful services. So create the module here. So let's say for example, suppliers. Suppliers come from the supply chain management module. Create the module, select the modules here. Create the module. Create the module in X. Create module. Module name you can give supply chain management. Any module name you can give based on your client requirement. Base path. This name can be any name. You can create module. Okay. So now in the uh, SEM folder, we are going to create the template. Click on create template. So 
So as soon as you click the create handler, you will get the REST API, ODS REST API. Okay. So step C create the template and create the handler. Step four. In the handler, write the query. So as soon as create the handler, it will create one ODS REST API. Hmm? Example. Like this. Hmm? Next, step five. Open the VBCS application. Open the VBCS instance. Step six, create the simple application. Create the simple application. So open the VBCS instance. So let's go to the visual builder. Click on new. Supplier info or yes. Click on empty application. Click on finish. Click on empty application. Click on finish. Okay. First step is so after you after the VBCS application open, we need to press the rest service connection. Step seven. Create the service connection. Create the service connection. Service connection. Click on plus. Defined by endpoint. So we are getting the data from the ODS REST service, right? So use the method as get. So it will it will be multiple records. So use the get many. Okay. So whatever the URL we have created, this URL ODS REST uh, ODS RESTful web services, we need to map into URL. Okay. Click on next. Click on next. So we are going to give the supplier. This name can be any name. Supplier info. Or yes. Any name you can give. Authentication none. So for testing purpose, we are giving the authentication none. But in the uh, real-time use cases, we, we need to pass the appropriate credentials here. Okay, that we can get from the client. Click on next. Service name. Info. Okay. Title name also you can give anything. Okay. Click on test. Send request. You will get the payload. So this is the payload. Supplier information payload. Hmm? Save as example response. Okay. So now we have created the REST connection, ODS REST connection in the BBCS. 
okay so with this tab after you you click on create this webs this one uh, this connection will be created in the uh, vbcs application okay click on create okay so this is the rest endpoint we have created okay next step step eight create the application in vbcs how to create the application you have to go to the select here create the web application click on this system icon click on web application application name you can give any name i can give supplier info or yes click on create so as soon as you create the application one page will be created by default in the main section okay so open the main stat click on this one okay this section if you want you can remove or if you keep that also not a problem okay next step is step nine drag and drop the table in the page table search here I can have the table here. Hmm? I can have the table here. Add data. So when you click the add data, whatever the rest services we have created, right? The rest connection we have created. That connection we need to access. We need to access for the table. Okay. For that, select the supplier info. Select this one. Click on next. So what are the columns we need to display? The data from uh, database ATP database. These columns, whatever the client requirement, uh, whichever the columns client expecting, those columns we need to display here. Let's say for example, I am uh, I am interested on the supplier name, supplier type, supplier division, status, region, supplier mobile. Hmm? So these are the columns I am displaying. Okay. So primary key column will be primary key column supplier id okay click on next finish okay so now let's run the page and see the uh, page result okay so that means we are displaying the data from Fusion SaaS through ORDS web service. Okay. So most of the real time, we are going to get the data from the SaaS. That SaaS data we are going to send to the ATP database using the voice integration. From there, we are going to create the ORDS web service in the Apex. So this Apex web service, we are going to access in the VBCS page. So that is the real time use case I have explained for this session. Thank you.